Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing an AliExpress haul. So AliExpress is somewhere I've always been a bit kind of apprehensive of and I thought you know what they always have so much cute Disney stuff that I need to give it a go and I thought what harm is there I can get my money back let's give this a shot. Uh, so that's what I did. I did an AliExpress haul and it was very successful I am glad to tell you guys. Um, so I'm doing this for the purposes of being able to show you if you want to try and get a little bit cheaper Disney merch um, or if there's something that you're looking for that I find a lot of the, like the kind of um, Tokyo Disney parks and Shanghai Disney parks have um, then I found a lot of like kind of what I would call overstock type of stuff being sold on AliExpress which makes me really happy because I have managed to get some stuff in this haul um, that I have really been wanting but I couldn't justify paying the prices of some of like the um, kind of shopping services that you can do from the UK from the Asia parks um, so yeah I am so so happy and I really cannot wait to get in and show you guys all of this because it is super super cute so without further ado let's jump into this video okay guys so I have currently put it all in my Walt Disney World 50th anniversary bag um, I picked this up on my trip back in June and I just, I'm obsessed, it gets used to everything and anything this. Um, so yes, let's jump into what I've got in this bag. So first up, would it be an AliExpress haul without trying out some of the ears? Um, so I have bought ears from them before in the past but that was many years ago uh, and when I saw these I was absolutely obsessed with how pretty they were. Um, so let me give you an up close look of these. They are a iridescent sparkly blue pair with a really really soft headband. They've got really cute detailing on the inside if you can just about see that. And yes, they are just stunning. I am so obsessed with these. These are so pretty. They are so so comfortable. Um, and yes, and these were six pounds I believe. Well, just over six pounds a pair. So to match these, I have got myself a pair of baby pink ones exactly the same now these ones are slightly different um, because these ones have basically not got the detailing on the inside and the headband is a little bit narrower so I am slightly kind of concerned about how these will sit on all day um, because I find that with a narrower headband that sometimes you can get a bit of a headache um, so yes but they are still super cute and we will try them out we never know they might be really comfortable so I'll give you an up close look of this iridescent pair. They are just so, so pretty. I really, really like them. And again, these were six pounds, guys. So yes, they do say handmade on the back. I mean, I'll show you this one. Uh, but they have stuck the label upside down. Um, so that did make me chuckle. Um, but yes, but the blue pair have got it up the right way. Uh, I don't know how handmade these actually are. Um, but who knows, they are very pretty and I do like them. Um, and they were definitely a good purchase. I mean, you can tell the quality isn't 100%. There are a few like loose strings here and there, but it's nothing that can't be tidied up. And I mean, for six pounds for a pair of ears, I mean, you can get so much cheaper on there too. Um, but for six pounds for a pair of ears that look this pretty, like I am all over it. I absolutely love these. Okay, so next up, this is for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Uh, how could I pass it up? Because when you see this, you guys are gonna be obsessed too. It is so cute. So it is this little reusable Winnie the Pooh bag. And it says, honey heaven, poo, eat honey, think sunny. Um, and it is just the cutest little bag. Now, I think that's just the right size for some extra candy. Um, so I will obviously use my Mickey's Not So Scary one, 
but for those of you who don't know you can actually bring your own bag to trick or treat with as well um, so I am going to get all the candy in the world and I'm so excited for it and I thought what better way to do it than with this really cute little tote bag now I think I paid two or three pounds for this um, it's drawstring so I can keep all my candy in there nice and safe uh, and yes it is it's so cute honestly it's like an almost waterproof type design as well so if it rains my candy safe it's all good and then i think this will be such a cute little wash bag and things like that um when i'm no longer using it for trick-or-treating on the disney parks so let me give you an up close look at this design i mean look how cute it is guys there is honey and there's a poo bear and that's the little saying that i just told you with the little bunting as well so yeah, for a couple of pounds this is so good and they had so many designs with so many different characters on guys. Um, so yes, absolutely love this, so worth the purchase, so so cute. And then back to the ear front because I, I can't cope, I can't cope. Uh, but anyway, I saw these and I was like, I have to have them. Some some ears, I mean they're a little small. I'm sure they were designed for a child, but I am an adult child, so I don't even care. Um, but they are Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, and they do actually have an official Disney label on them, which is what makes me think that sometimes this is like overstock, I'm not sure. Um, but if you know any otherwise, then please let me know. Um, but yes, so let me show you these up close. So it's this cute little orange headband, and you've got a little Pooh Bear and a little Tigger. And this is the label that I was talking about, guys. So it says Disney Simpson. And then over the back, that is that label there. Uh, and then it has got the Disney Simpson label on here. Oh, hello. Let's focus on me. <laughs> um, but yes, how cute are these guys? And I think they're just like so adorable for the Disney parks. I mean, imagine a little kid wearing them. I'm imagining me as an adult wearing them. But like, they're so cute for a little kid. And they're not like too heavy. They're not too like a squeezy or anything so i'm sure they'll be fairly comfortable but yes and i believe i want to say these were like three or four pounds for these um but yes loki obsessed with them too cute um oh and the other thing is they had other designs of them as well so i'm sure they had like chip and dale and various other characters um so if you didn't want the winnie the pooh ears then they've got different designs so so worth looking into then next up i picked myself up a winnie the pooh phone case again i think this was like one pound 50 or one pound 60 um but it is the cutest little phone case here and you've got Winnie the Pooh pouring honey onto the table and it's got like a comic strip design at the bottom. Now I haven't actually read what it says but uh, this has come from like Japan or China or somewhere uh, and I don't think the English makes much sense but I don't care because it looks so cute and I just love it. And for £1.60, like I'm sure it was £1.60, how can you go wrong? And it's like a decent quality. I mean okay it's not like as protective as you think it is more decorative but honestly it is so cute and i was like yeah i'll take that for a pound uh and then diving in um this is for my halloween costume um so i'm going to give you guys a bit of an update on that soon um but yes yeah, so basically these are for my hair for when i do my aurora halloween trick-or-treating um and these were just some little flowers to go in it so my inspiration um, for the actual like Halloween costume that I'm going to be doing um, is going to be, oh is that going to focus? Sort of, kind of, maybe. Um, so my inspiration is basically going to be, oh this is not going well is it? Focus, you know you want to focus. No? Okay, fair enough. Anyway, um, so it is Aurora's wedding dress from Maleficent 2. So this is just a bag of little crystal flowers that I can put into my hair. Um, so yes, I'm looking forward to putting them in. I wanted some of these because um, I didn't know how else to do it for my hair. Um, and when I saw these, I think these were like 50p or something crazy. And I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. They're a little bit bigger than what I was expecting, but they're still really, really cute. So I'm really happy with them. Okay, so now we're on to the really cute stuff. Um, so let's do this one first 
So this I am obsessed with because I'm sure these are the ones that I've been looking at on um, some of the, the UK Japan shipping websites for their merch and for Shanghai and places like that. Uh, and first things first, I picked up this Winnie the Pooh. He is the sweetest keychain that you ever did see. Again, it comes with all the official Disney like labeling on and the official Disney tags. So that's what makes me like, is this Disney or is it not? Uh, but look at him. I mean, he is just the absolute sweetest. I really cannot get over how cute this is, guys. There's his little, oh, helps him show you the right way. The little Disney tag there at the bottom. And then this label that it comes with, which is like the official Disney kind of store label. Again, I don't know, guys. Um, but please let me know if you know any different. But, oh my god, I mean, even if it isn't, I am low key obsessed with these. Just, oh, I can't get over how sweet he is. Uh, and then, another thing that I've been looking at was this range that they have put out in Japan. Um, and I am waiting for the Winnie the Pooh versions at the moment. I am searching high and low to find somewhere affordable to buy them from, which I think I have. Um, but are these little guys. Oh my god, so this is Miss Bunny and Thumper and they are like, I mean, how ridiculously cute guys are these? Like, they are just stupidly cute. I cannot get over how adorable they are. Again, come with the Dis Disney official labelling at the bottom there, which again, you're not going to see because it won't focus. Uh, and then these, I mean, that doesn't look like Disney to you. However, you turn it over and then this... Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Uh, so you've got the Disney label. Again, same for Miss Bunny over here. You've got her little tag there. Again, is it gonna focus? No, of course it isn't. Uh, and then here's that Disney label again. Um, so yes, I literally am obsessed. And these cost me, I want to say it was like five or six pounds per one. Um, and when you look online to buy these off of places like um, eBay and stuff like that, they want 23 to 28 pounds per one. Um, so yes, this was a complete bargain. And I got free shipping on these because I bought so many of them. So there's those two. And then finally, out of this AliExpress haul, which I'm sure in the future will be more to come because now I'm obsessed, is Chip and Dale. And I can't cope, guys. They are the most adorable little things in the world and I need every single one of these in my possession. Like, look at them. Oh, they're so cute. They're just the cutest little things. Again, you've got those Disney labels on them, guys. So I just, I can't tell. But, I mean, <laughs> oh, they're so sweet. Um, so yes, this is my new obsession. Um, the minute I have some spare money, I will be ordering loads more of these because I can't. I just can't. They're just adorable. Uh, but yes, so that is everything I brought. I did buy some other bits. Um, so I brought some lights that are going to go into my Halloween costume for Disney. Um, I brought some stuff for my Disney nails. Um, I brought some glitter for those as well. What else did I buy? Oh, I bought some camera straps for my camera as well. Um, and all of that was really good quality. I think the only thing that I had an issue was I bought a little camera case and it was too small and unfortunately the dimensions didn't quite match. Um, but it's fine, these things happen, but out of the entire order that I placed, to have one thing go wrong is like amazing. Um, so yeah, if you're ever thinking about it, I think it's a pretty good option. You can pay through things like PayPal and that to protect yourself. Um, and yeah, I'm just obsessed. The only thing is you just got to remember when you're looking at checkout, um, they will add your shipping charges on after you're, like, you press the checkout button. Um, so the total that you might see in your cart might go up because of those shipping prices. But there's a lot of deals that you can find on there um, in some ways that basically mean that you end up like with free 15 day shipping and things like that. And all of this stuff took literally about two weeks to come from the day of me ordering it. Um, and most of it was shipped the day after. And the other good thing that they do as well is that 
if you've got a lot of packages coming at once they amalgamate it into one big package for you so you don't have hundreds of little packages coming which is just brilliant um, this is not an ad this is no way sponsored or anything at all this is just my personal opinion of my experience with aliexpress um, i know it's different for everyone so you may have had not positive or really positive experiences of it um, but it's whatever works for you um, but yes thank you it's been great and I mean I can't cope they're so sweet but once again guys thank you for joining this crazy little channel of mine um yeah I don't know why you keep coming back but thank you so much for the fact that you keep coming back it really does mean the absolute world to me um if you're really enjoying my content please hit the like comment and subscribe button and it also if you're really enjoying it hit that little notification bell in the corner and you'll be notified every time I upload um don't forget I have that up and coming October trip soon um so once I'm back from that you'll get all the vlogs from there and I'm going to try and make as much as I can because I am so looking forward to being back there uh, and after October I don't think I'm going to be back until 2025 um, but we shall see I will definitely have to pad it out with some Disneyland Paris trips I think um, because I can't go a year without being to Disney <laughs> but yes thank you so so much guys and yeah I will see you all real soon bye guys